morning, y'all. King Ranger 13. We are going to be doing something a little different today. I've actually got a new camera thing. It's it's a stabilizer, so hopefully the videos won't be as shaky and be able to make some better content for y'all. I love that I'm getting a lot of feedback that y'all are really enjoying watching the channel and watching the videos and liking the different things I'm doing. So hey always leave in the comments of a video you want to see of one of my trucks or somebody else's trucks i'll try to do as much as i can and if y'all haven't already please hit that like and subscribe and help us out what we'll be doing today is putting on a no limit stage two intake on my truck on my 2017 f250 67 power stroke king ranch the one that you see all the time and then also, if we get the chance after his engine cools down, I'm going to be putting a shift on the fly switch on Justin's truck. Man, I, I have to take a video of him talking about his truck. When he dropped it off this morning, he was telling me all about his fuel economy gains and everything like that. And it surprised me. Uh, and he pulls a camper and things like that whenever he gets home to spend time with his family. He works the thing on a natural gas or something like that so anyways I'm gonna go and check the P.O. box go to the post office and see what mail I get and hey if y'all want to send me stuff for this channel let me know and uh, I'll get you my P.O. box or get you my address or P.O. box or whatever thing so that y'all can send me stuff and I'll uh, put it on this channel and put either put it on my truck or put it up somewhere or use it or whatever it is that y'all want to send me curious to see what y'all would get to me. Here we go. All right, y'all, so there's nothing at the P.O. box. I keep going there about twice a day or so because my wife if y'all don't know already she is in the army and in the in combat training right now at Fort Sill and so the only way we are able to talk is through snail mail and so we write letters about every day or every other day or so and I hadn't heard from her in about a, about a week or so and so I've been going to the mailbox pretty often to kind of check see if I have letters This is what happens when you drive around a bunch of kids for a couple of days. All the dust and stuff. They get all their fingers all over it. One thing about having a black truck, can't keep it clean. All right, sorry about that. I got a phone call from a customer while I was pulling up and shooting a video, but it's all good. I'm gonna take care of the guy. He's buying a lift kit from us. Thought I'd <laughs> go ahead and pull it up to where I could just step off my porch and uh, work on it. But anyways, gonna get all this stuff prepped and then I'll show y'all how putting on this No Limit Fab intake on the 2017 F-250 Power Stroke goes. Alright, 
So that's how she sounds stock, the stock intake. Let's go put on the new one. Got it over here sitting somewhere. There she is. Let's get to unboxing. So that's for the contents of the package. All right, let's get to tearing this stock thing out of there. All right, so first things first, I think is to <clears throat> take out this air stock air box here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and unclamp these hoses and unclip um, there's about three clips going all the way around on this box actually there's four I'm sorry four there so get you a seven millimeter undo that one and while I'm at it I'm gonna go ahead and undo the one right by the intake horn should pop right off just like that unhook the um, I think it's the map or the Mass flow intake sensor. Slide the red tap back. Push in. Slide out. Just like that. Alright, that's going trash. Alright, take the intake out. That's trash. You want to, I think there's just two bolts on the uh, passenger side of that intake box. I think it's an eight. This whole box should come right out. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. Get this out of the way. There's a hose uh, mount clamp thing right there. So take that out. Goner. You just gotta put some elbow grease into it. There we go. There is another line on that sensor you pulled out. Make sure you pull away. There's a sensor. Uh, a wire holder you pull out of that hole come on now. Right. pull that off there like that so that's it for the air box there now i'm going to go ahead and put the new intake on take out these hose clamps there's two of them there you use a 7 16 Extension. So now I'm gonna take this new intake boot. Alrighty, so I took a rag and wiped it, wiped it clean. These hose clamps go on each end of this. So I'm gonna put the first one on first, and I'm gonna have the bolt facing this way towards me. That way it's easier to put on. Actually, I'm gonna have it like that. Alright, so now you gotta squeeze that boot. <laughs> And slide it on there just like that and then just slide that clamp down the ways and don't get it too close to the edge to where when it when you clamp it that it pushes it off the intake horn I'm gonna tighten this down just to, just a smidge just to see how it does now I'm gonna go ahead and connect this next part if you see here there's a arrow showing the flow of the air or which way the air is going to be going so you know flip this down and this is going to be going this way i totally forgot you got to get this this deal off here how you get that out you gotta have one of these weird security bits because it's not a regular phillips or anything like that And we won't be reusing this because No Limit will come with two new ones. Take that, take that out there. All right, now that we got the mess airflow sensor out of that one, we're gonna be putting it onto the new one. So again, it's shown, it's gonna be pointing towards uh, the way the air's flowing. How you can know which way to put it is if, because if, 
if you spun around and you mount it, I mean, you're not gonna be able to tell. So one side there is gonna have a little scoop inside, the other side won't. So you're gonna put the scoop facing towards uh, where the air is coming so that, if that makes sense. So air is gonna be blowing inside of this and that's what this sensor reads. So if the flow is going this way, you're gonna wanna point this pocket going that way, just like that. So now I will take the two screws provided by No Limit. I've been using my torque wrench and I'm gonna use it to tighten it down, uh, to put it in, but do not tighten down with the torque wrench because I have broken the heads off of these. There we go. That's the right size. That's the one I was looking for. So like I said, I'm gonna just screw them down, but I will not torque them down with this. So I'm just gonna stop when it stops itself. Then I'm gonna take this and hand tighten it. And it, you don't have to tighten them too hard because it's not like it's gonna get, be going anywhere. All right, so before I put this clamp on, I'm just gonna bring my filter over here. And the filter will come with its own clamp as well. I'm just gonna set, set this right here so that way when I'm ready for it, I can just pop it on. So you see this hole here, it's gonna go in that same hole that I had to put some elbow grease into to get the stock box out. It's gonna be a hole right on the other side of the, um, corner of the battery right here so I'm gonna go ahead and take my clamp and I'm gonna have my clamp on the uh, cap side of the um, intake that way this is kind of out of the way unshowing because that I'd like to have do a clean install so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the boot and slide this intake on just wiggle around a little bit and it should pop right on all right after that's popped on, hold the boot and slide this to slide this down to mount into that hole. There we go, just like that. I'll go ahead and take my filter, right. just like that, and I'll I'll tighten that down later. Right now, I'm worried about making sure I get this mounted right and having in the right position and things like that so and I'm gonna go ahead and plug up my sensor mass flow air sensor um, that way I can see where it's gonna land and now that I've got it basically all in place I'm gonna get my 7 16 and I'm gonna tighten the one down by the intake horn first and when you're tightening them down, kind of have them at a upward angle first because as it tightens down, it's going to want to rotate down. So have it angled a little bit up and then as you tighten it, it'll start to go down. Right, I'm going to switch out my short socket for my long socket because as it goes in, it needs to have some depth in it. So as you're tightening it, be watching to make sure it's staying on the boot and not sliding off. All right, next up is tightening down the filter. And I believe it's an eight millimeter. Or you can actually take a flathead as well. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate this filter to where I want it. Alrighty, and that's it. I'm going to get all the tools out of here and then start her up and see how she sounds. So now that the No Limit Fab Stage 2 intake's on my truck, I'm going to go ahead and drive it and see what it sounds like, real driving experience. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear the turbo or hear it sucking any more than 
um, and does it stock. It's gonna be probably pretty hard without having a, like a professional microphone or something like that, I guess. But anyways, here, I'm gonna go ahead and drive it and I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> I do notice more turbo noise. I can definitely hear it. I hope y'all can hear that. Man, I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. All right, so what I noticed is that that our 17 and up power strokes, that air box really... Sorry, I just had to stop talking because that turbo noise. I hope y'all can hear that. Oh man, that sounds so good. I need to put the windows down or something. All right, here we go. I like it. All right, I'm gonna go fill up here real quick. We like big nozzles. All right, so while that's filling up, a little so I'm getting used to this thing my hours so y'all bear with me but I'll give you a little walk around on the truck them bumper colors look uh, the color match bumpers look really good I've had a lot of y'all placing orders and uh, they're getting them out as soon as they can uh, I think I kind of put them in a bind because so many people were ordering them so here let me show y'all the front with the ranch hand and everything good looking truck all right should be done almost going up now oh yeah less than a minute let's see is that straight for you nope let's flip around it's 44 dollars for 22.9 gallons i guess that was pretty low i think uh, on mine it's a 26 gallon tank yeah check out this big boy that's what I like. Big nozzle. Save time. Saves money for me. And absolutely no death. I'm pretty sure if, when I deleted it, I had a full tank of death in there. So, but guess what? It don't hurt nothing. It don't hurt me. Hey, actually, you know what? It's a great time for me to tell you all about them stickers that I showed you on the last video. I've had a couple orders already. But if you would like to have an outdoor truck sticker, we got them for sale on the website for uh, the next week or so, and then uh, I'll, I'll put them up to kind of our normal sticker pricing or whatever. But anyways, hey, go and grab y'all's um, outdoor trucks merch there. I'm gonna be getting another order, ha order of hats here, hopefully in the next um, couple weeks after I get a couple more orders and a um, couple more projects done. But um, I'm excited to get y'all some hats because I know a ton of y'all have been asking for hats and, and uh, 
I will say the hats are <laughs> expensive and so it's not something I order all the time. I wish I could order more, but uh, I'm just gonna order as much as I need for now. Comment down below if y'all would like to buy a hat and if y'all would want me to put them on the website. All right, let's go and throw the shift on the fly switch on Justin's truck. Oh, gotta grab the keys. You know how to do it? Gotcha. Well, those look yummy. Enjoy them. All right, got the keys. All right, let's get to cracking on this truck here. So y'all probably seen the video of me deleting Justin's truck. The steering wheel so low. I, I'm I like my steering wheel high. Personal preference. Let me know down in the comments what y'all's preference is. Do y'all like them higher or lower? Good old Cummins noise. Alright, we're going to go back and park in the same exact spot where we were. Alrighty. Oops. Trash. Got front sensor on it. Probably good right there. Shut her down. Cool it off a little bit. I think we can manage. I gotta get to a sensor that's back over there, so shouldn't be too bad. Well, we've run into a little issue here. Um, the clips that go into the wire there, see that right there? Is missing on this black wire, which goes in the middle. So what we're gonna have to do is maybe go run to the store and see if they've got it. But if not, then we'll have to make other amends. Messing with this for a little bit. Finally found some new pins that weren't actually meant for this, but made it work. Crazy something that costs probably about three cents can hold you up. So take that plug. Slide her in just like that. Slide the safety pin over. Okay, that's all let me slide it over. Alright. Mount it up. And put the loom on the It is getting hot out here. Just got done with the shift on the fly switch. And now I'm gonna Man, these sweat bees are annoying me to nothing. Well, anyways, I'm gonna go test, take it on test drive, go and check my PO box again to see if I got a letter from Summer, and then probably gonna do a couple errands around the house and things. Well, got the Cummins done with the shift on the fly switch. Now it's all deleted and stuff. You might put it on a cold air and take later down the road, but we'll see. It, I mean, it's still got plenty of power. Got nothing going on this one. Just been kind of driving around on my truck. Y'all saw the no limit fab intake. Let me know what you think. If you're able to hear the turbo, I hope you are. Well guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm trying to get used to this camera thing. So let me know if you think the camera stabilizer thing, the quality is good or whatever. It's gonna take me a little get used to with the controls. So bear with me in the next couple of videos as I learn that. But thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Go to outdoortrucks.com and go to our online store. Check out what we got on there. Y'all seen the stickers, buy some stickers, put them up, and I'll repost them in my stories. All right, take care, guys. Bye.